When driving to a vacation house on Block Island, we're first on a paved road where the ride is smooth. But when we turn off onto the dirt road that leads to the house, the ride is rough. On this dirt road, the car feels exactly like an airliner in turbulence. On some parts of the road, it feels like light turbulence. At other places, it feels like moderate turbulence. When I look at the speedometer, I see I'm going only eight miles per hour, yet the feeling is the same as in an airliner at 560 miles per hour. In turbulence, anxious flyers believe the plane is falling. The feeling of falling is an illusion. The plane feels like it is falling hundreds of feet, though the plane is actually moving up and down a mere fraction of an inch. To judge the up and down movement the car is making, I laid a board down on the road and used a tape measure to see how much variation there is in the surface of the dirt road. It's only an inch. Based on this measurement, the car's up and down movement at 8 miles an hour is only an inch. This means the airliner's up and down movement at 560 miles per hour has to be a fraction of an inch. What then causes the impression that the airliner is falling hundreds of feet? The answer has to be how abrupt the movements are. You can see that here in the car, though the car is moving up and down only an inch, the abruptness of the car's movements throws me around several inches. In an airliner, when a passenger is being thrown around several inches, they believe the plane is being thrown around hundreds of feet by the turbulence. But now we know the truth. The car's movements at 8 miles per hour are so abrupt that one inch of car movement causes several inches of passenger, or driver in my case, movement. And in an airplane, the plane's movements at 560 miles per hour are so abrupt that only a fraction of an inch causes several inches of passenger movement. Pilots know this movement is no threat to the plane, but passengers believe these movements mean the plane is falling hundreds of feet. Now let's see how this looks as the tires meet the road. I hope this video gives you new insight into what you experience physically and psychologically when flying in turbulence. Though the plane is moving up and down very little, each abrupt downward movement triggers the release of stress hormones. And since there is one abrupt downward movement after another, the stress hormone levels build up. As stress hormone levels build up, imagination that the plane is falling takes over. Why? Because stress hormone buildup causes rapid heartbeat, rapid breathing, sweatiness, and tension. The same feelings experienced when in danger in the past. Since these feelings tend to mean danger, they make passengers believe they are in danger. But as dangerous as turbulence may feel, it's no more dangerous than what is happening right now in this car driving up a dirt road to a vacation house on Block Island.